What else is on your mind, Daniel? How's uh, what, Purple Hearts? Yes. How's that going? It's. I just watched the first cut last week. And? I can't wait to share it with the world. It's. Um, I produced the film. Mazel Tov. Thank you. I wrote the soundtrack for it. Oh, God, so and presidential. I started in- so presidential. The most presidential. <laughs> the most. And um, I actually have been attached to this project for four years now. Wow. Um, I, when I was shooting Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionist, my director, Liz Allen, she she said it was around Christmas, and she goes, Merry Christmas. Here's a rough script, and let's do this. <laughs> and she wanted me to partner with her to bring this project to life. And I don't know what she saw in me that she believed that I could do this with her in this capacity, but she did, and I'm so grateful for her. And so we embarked on this journey together and I helped to develop the script, develop the character, pitch the movie. I wrote the soundtrack with Justin Tranter over the summer, filmed it over the fall, wow. and now it's being edited and will be in Netflix this year. Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. That's I mean that's a challenge. Yes. Like you've never taken on before. Like I've never taken on before. And I was petrified. One, what do you learn about yourself from finishing this album? Mm. And then two, what do you learn about yourself from Literally being a part of something as uh, I mean as large scale of a production where you were part of literally every aspect every of the aspect movie. of this decision making and the storytelling is that everything you want is on the other side of fear that fear is the only thing that stops you and when you overcome that and then you do it it's the greatest feeling in the world and the growth that comes from that is is hard to put into words I would say because I was petrified going into this movie. And it was the greatest experience of my life. I was petrified a couple weeks ago when I announced the album. And this has been one of the greatest experiences of my life. And, and yeah, that's what I would say. How do you find the bravery? <laughs> I mean, because some people will look at fear and then they just kind it of succumb you. to it. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you turn around. I think of my mom. My mom always said that in moments like that, when life challenges you, we have a choice to make. We either run or we face it. Mm. And life is so short, and life is lived in moments, and this moment right here, right now, is a gift. So are we going to run away, or are you going to face it? I- I'm saying this if it was an run. easy decision. It's not always easy to make, you guys know, because sometimes life is scary. But when you do, it's so worth it. It's true. Yeah. 